Hey guys, this is Danielle from So Much Crafting, and if you watched my new release video this week, you heard that I said I was getting ready to film a planner setup video, and I'm going to go ahead and flip through both planners this week. I um, I don't remember the last, I think I, I think I posted my planner setup video on my personal and my A5 early January, so some things have changed since then, and I thought I would just pop in and share with you what I'm currently using this week anyway to share with you how I have these two set up and um, what's working for me. So I don't think I've ever done a flip through on my Traveler's Notebook because I honestly have never used it consistently. And I don't know if you can say that two weeks is super consistent, but what I have done is I have started using this for list making every day or like for the week. So let me start at the beginning. I just have some dot paper in here. I like to carry um, this planner in my purse and so if we're at a restaurant I my husband and I used to before we had Hannah we would play a little dot game or just for jotting down notes so that's in there and then this next one is my month on two page this is actually our old version that was the November through this November 2016 through December 2017 so um, the, the layout and everything still the same but I haven't changed it out so this was February loved this kit from the Paperly Boutique I went through and added some fun things there and then I laid down some stickers for March but I haven't done much with that so I'm not going to show that off yet and then in the weeklies I am using the week on two page vertical and I just started using them actually last week. So what I have done is my weekly like to-do list here. And then I'm just putting a to-do sticker and a small checklist every day of things that need to happen. And then like I used a payday sticker and a post office sticker and whatnot there. But super simple, but I like to have it in my planner, like a, a place to jot down lists for each day. Um, and it's easy to grab. This usually sits on my desk and I can just open it up to this week. Here's this week so you can get an idea. Sometimes I fill things out beforehand and other times I wait till it's closer to the day of so that I can, um, you know, write down things that are actually need to happen as the week goes on. Things that didn't happen at the beginning of the week that I need to do that day or whatnot. So anyway, that's that. I don't really pre-plan too far in advance. I did, I did like put the stickers down on this last week, but that's because I knew I wanted to do it, use it for list making. So that's that. And then this last little section is my day on one page and I've only used it one day, but it was super nice to have like, um, let's see, a to-do list, a little quote that I had heard, and then just like a basic idea of what we were doing that day. We had errands to run and things that we needed to do. So it kind of helped me break down the day. We headed out of town the next day. So it helped me like keep track of my day so that I wouldn't lose complete track of time. So, um, I do like to have those in there. I don't use them every day, like I said. Um, but it's there. The, yeah, it's there. The stickers for the weekly, and then those are also Chrissy and Designs, and then like I said, the monthly, I use the Paperly Boutique on those. So that's my Traveler's Notebook. Super easy, super, I don't know, super simple there. And then I do use this while still using my personal size rings. So let me flip through this planner. Not a lot, well, I can't say that not a lot changed. I don't remember how I had it set up 100%, but here we go. So the dividers are from the Planner Junkie. She sent them to me as a Christmas gift. She does not sell dividers, but I have a few shops that I would recommend or I make my own usually. So there's that. First section stayed the same. It's just my regular lined paper I like to have in my planner. The second section also I think is the same. I have my year on two pages. I did go ahead and add the holidays. And then I have my monthlies. And I usually, well, I can't say usually. In 2016, I used a kit every month this year. I wanted to do something different and keep it kind of more basic, more streamlined. So I um, just used pen. I used some real thin washi tape. And then I used little munchkins um, to, you know, mark down little things there. So that's it. I do keep a ruler here so I can flip between my weekly and my monthly real easy. And, um... Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's something else with that. So I have the whole year, January through December, in there. And then this next tab is going to be my weeklies. This is the same. I've been using these for almost a year. Well, May will make it a year. So May, March, March. I think it was, 
I'm not 100% sure, but I've been using these for a long time. I don't normally theme my weeks just because I like the variety of all the different colors and stuff, but these two weeks I ended up with mostly red and pink. That was kind of fun. Um, I can show that. There's nothing too, too crazy on here. This is this week, and then I pre-planned a little bit for next week, and then... I think that's it. The next section is my weekly checklist section and um, I'm trying to think. So the last video I had I put this in with my week on two week on two page and I really liked that for a time but I also really like to see both weeks at the same time. I don't know something about the stickers and the colors and it just I don't know how, I don't know. So I went ahead and moved it to its own section. I do not have a ruler in here because at the end of the week I throw it in the back or I throw it away. So I can see my month and then my week and then I just lift that tab and there's this week's weekly checklist. So anyway, that's that. And then this next section is our new pregnancy kit. I added, oh, a week or two ago, I added it to my planner as a permanent item well, a permanent until July anyway, um, to have in my planner just for jotting down notes, memory keeping, and stuff like that. So if you haven't seen the detailed um, video, there is in our previous new release video, there's a video, or it, I went through each page of this planner or this kit. I'm not going to do that here because I have already filled it out and it has personal information in it, but if you want to see each page, go to that video. If you just want to see a quick flip through of how I'm using it, here we go. So the first page, I just use stickers from Chrissy and Designs, little heart stickers to mark each week. And then the weekly updates, I went ahead and added the fruit or vegetable that the baby is the size of every week. And then I'll go back and fill out all the information as that week comes. And then I shared this in the video, but just in case you don't see it, I used heart stickers from Chrissy and Designs to mark down each month leading up to when the baby is due to write down things that I need to do that month or hopefully that month we'll see. So in March we find out if we're having a boy or girl I want to order a nursing cover, car seat canopy, and then in April haircut, re start researching birthing methods, things like that. So that is that. And then I don't think I filled anything else out. No, because we haven't had we haven't really talked about anyway we haven't really talked about all those other things so then this last section I believe is different than how, how I had it set up before if not the tabs are new and I filled it out I'm using it so anyway bear with me there so this first one is our build checklist this is a free printable on our blog the next one is a version of that that is not a free printable I can make it a free printable if y'all are that interested in it um, I just changed it a little bit so that it didn't say bill at the top and then I went through and added tasks that I want to do each month and then I'm just checking it off as I go. Let's zoom back out. Um, the next is my goals. I'm not going to share that. The next one is our library trackers. So just normal library trackers with the books that we've checked out. And then the last one is my online purchases. I did go ahead and add that and I'm keeping track just to make sure that when I order something I keep track of when it was sent and received so I don't lose any orders. So that's that. And then I have a notebook in the back, my normal pen. That is the end. Um, anyway, if you have any questions on how I'm using this planner or how I'm using my traveler's notebook, leave them below and we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.